Hey everybody, Alan Ward here from bloggerbusinessplan.com and in this video today I want to give you a quick review of the new opt-in skin plugin for WordPress that's been released over the last couple of days. Um, so a guy called Glenn Alsop, um, also known as Vipertule, has um, put this plugin together and I've got to say for me it's come at quite a good time because I was looking um, just this week to redo my sign up boxes and so on on my blog so this plugin does it all for me. So really simply what um, opt-in skin does is it enables you to produce um, these opt-in boxes that can go really anywhere in your blog that you want them to do and the advantage a bit like pop-up domination is that um, this plugin comes with uh, 18 um, default designs out the box and it would appear that you can create your own skins and possibly there'll be a, a market in that as well to be able to buy additional skins um, this is what I like about it is I'm hopeless with HTML and this is a really good way for me and a lot of other bloggers to um, very quickly be able to get some decent looking opt-in boxes up on our blogs um, and increase the number of people who sign up to our blog so I'll quickly explain a little bit this is the, the sales page that I'm looking at um, on the right hand side here it says that there's 18 default designs and you can customize all the elements and I'll show you that in a moment. Um, over this side you can fade them in so what that means is that as the person's reading down your blog um, as they get to the bottom of the article if that's where you want this um, to opt-in box to appear it will actually fade in once they reach that point uh, in the article so it becomes more obvious um, to the reader. Now that can be turned on or off if you if you want. Um, now you're also able to customize your own design so um, I'll talk about this a little later as well but the only problem I see with this is that you've really got to know HTML to do this it, the reason you would do it in this plugin is so then you can use the reporting and so in um, so on that this plugin gives you what I'd like to be able to see though is the option to um, import one of the existing designs into this code editor and you can play around with the HTML and CSS from there um, just to tweak it and get it looking the way that you want it to look. The bit I'm really happy with is over here, number six, place the skins anywhere on your blog with one click. So um, at a default setting, you can put it at the bottom of posts, below the first paragraph, top of the posts, uh, float it to the right of the second paragraph. But this bottom one here is a really good one. In a custom location, such as the sidebar in a widget or in a post using a short code. And this is fantastic because uh, what you can do is actually create um, you know, a plugin. If in my example, I want to put something specifically just on the first page. So this generates a short code. I can post it into the HTML on that first page and it appears there. Um, I've also got another one set up to appear at the bottom of all posts. So you can actually set up multiple um, opt-in boxes to appear all over your blog in, in different places and so on. So it's really good in the flexibility that you've got. It does also work with all major email marketing services. Look, I use Aweber and it was as simple as putting my list name into um, the plugin and it just picked it up straight away um, and it works. Uh, I've already got a couple of subscribers today going through the form so I know it works. So really plug and play, really, really very, very good. Um, now what I'll do is I'll show you on my blog um, how I've been using it. Okay, so here we are over at bloggerbusinessplan.com and one of the things I've been messing around with tonight is putting this box in here. So previously I had um, the text here and I had an arrow pointing over here. This is my standard Aweber form um, that I've got in my blog sidebar but what I've done tonight is really simply produce this form um, using the opt-in skin plugin and it was really simple to do. Uh, but also if I click through to a post I'll show you the other form that I've made up um, this is what I did earlier today so here's my latest post on Buffer App um, down the bottom of it did you enjoy this article subscribe and receive access to the bloggers toolbox and the sign up form that's over here so um, again this is the one that just defaults to show at the bottom of every blog post um, the thing I'm not that excited about with this one is look I'd love to be able to put a box around it um, this particular template doesn't seem to give me that option so this comes back to my argument that if we could um, customize the existing templates um, it would make life a bit easier and a, and a bit quicker to get things the way I want them. Um, the only thing I'm not that excited about with this as well is that 
Um, I've put it to appear at the end of a post. Um, I'd actually like it to sit in here before my similar post plugin um, appears. So I may have to go into the header theme files to um, tweak that and, and put that in. But for now, look, very happy with the way that it appears down here. Now in WordPress, um, this is your standard WordPress menu. There's an opt-in skin menu down here and um, you've got the option look, to add a new um, template in there. So you can scroll through here um, and it will just show you yeah, the different sorts of templates and so on that are available. Um, once again, some of them I've noticed have the space just for email address. Uh, there's also the ability to have the likes in there as well. And some of them also have the um, name and email address. Now, unfortunately, the templates um, that have the name and email address, you can't change that to um, display the option of just putting in your email address. Um, so there's, again, things I would like to be able to tweak there as well. Same with those sharing buttons, they, they're great. Um, personally, I'd love the ability to do a Facebook share as opposed to a Facebook like. Um, and I'd like to be able to pick and choose which social um, buttons get put on there and perhaps remove some as well. Um, but anyway, here's the um, form. Basically, where you can design your own opt-in skin form. Uh, we might like this one and we can change here the title font. Um, I can change this and you can see it changing up there. Um, we can change the color of it if we want. The subtext down here, we can change that color. Um, learn about marketing. Um, want my free book? Question mark. Um, and up here, want my free book. It's changed it straight away. So it's really good WYSIWYG type editor. Um, you can change things here and go and have a look up the top. You can change things like the size of the title font. Um, you know, make that bigger. And there it is, it's bigger already. Um, and you can also change, importantly, the book cover. So um, you just upload your own design and down here you've got the option of changing the URL for that. Um, you can change the button text, there's a whole bunch of things. Um, you can select which um, mail service you're using. And if you clicked a Weber, for instance, like I have here, it defaults to the list ID I've already put in. Look, that's all it needs. It integrates perfectly with Aweber. And full redirect URL. Um, so once they sign up, what page do you want them to go to? Um, again, you can select from your pages there and it just automatically defaults to where you want them to go. And this is a bit I was looking at earlier and showing you where do you want this skin to go. Um, how much space do you want around it, so padding and that sort of stuff, and the effect, so do you want it to fade in. I haven't messed around with this one, stick to top. So once you scroll past it, it sticks to the top of your screen, which could be interesting as well. Um, there's the ability to do split testing um, in this as well. Now if you finish that, you used to create your skin. Um, it probably well, it may work, let's just see what happens. Okay, so it's finished doing that, gone to a new page, um, custom positioning, here's the short code. Uh, I'll just insert that short code into my blog post and the um, pop the opt-in box will appear in those posts. Um, and down here it's got some stats, um, so showing you the number of sign-ups, impressions and so on. This is actually really important, particularly if you're going to split test, because you want to play around with a bunch of options and really look at what works for your blog. Um, so there it is, um, the brand new opt-in skin product. Um, click through to the link at the bottom of this blog of, of this video and you'll be taken directly to my blog post which um, reviews it in a little bit more detail. And um, please, if you like the video, click on the like button, subscribe to my channel and leave a comment below as well to let YouTube know that this has been valuable. I'm Alan Ward from Blogger Business Plan and thank you for watching.